everyone so it has been over a year since I did my last what's in my bag slash what's in my purse video and it has been requested non-stop for me to do an updated version I think I've done three or four um, what's in my bag videos since the beginning of YouTube which um, I started my channel back like three years ago so I've done quite a few of these but I think it's fun to do an updated version because a the bag changes the bag that you know you carry around as your everyday bag that definitely changes over the time also as I grew up you know when I started my videos I was a sophomore in high school I was 15 years old now I've graduated high school I'm 18 I live on my own the things I carry in my bag are a little bit different um, and then also today's video is actually the week five for Mark Miskly Ambitious our um, video contest that we have going on where the winner gets two thousand dollars a Skype session with Elle and I it's really awesome you can check out the meet mark tab on ellenblair.com for all the details but every Monday for the past, this makes week five, um, Elle and I have been uploading a video to one of our channels um, about that week's kind of video contest and stuff. So if you wanna know what this week's video contest is, stick around till the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in my purse. And then after that, I will announce this week's video contest and what you have to do to enter. The reason that I chose my week five video to actually be a what's in my bag video is because when we first started working with Mark, they sent us a big box of stuff that we could go through, find out what our favorite thing was, and ever since since I saw this purse to be honest I didn't even know how cute like the fashion stuff from Mark was because when I thought of Mark cosmetics I thought of the cosmetics I never thought of you know the fashion stuff the shoes the bags the jewelry but ever since I laid my eyes on this I called it Elle and I kind of had a little um, bickering about it but she got something else she really wanted and I called this and I've been using it so much you guys okay so I am ready to show the bag this is called the get a handle on it bag and it is so cute. I like it, even though I'm not in high school anymore, I feel like with all these pockets on the front, it makes it really pretty. And if I was in high school, I would definitely utilize that, but I'm not in high school and I still utilize it. It's a really pretty black, almost like gray color. So I think that's awesome. And then it has a long strap, um, a shoulder strap, and then it also has the little handle. And look at this cute little thing on the side right here, this little detail. And then there are also studs on the side. I just think that this bag is so freaking cute. So that's why I decided to do a what's in my bag as the week five video for Miss Glambitious. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive into what is in my bag. So the first thing I have is obviously my phone. This is just an iPhone 4. I actually, look, I got the um, front fixed. So I, I did have a shattered phone for probably three or four months. And when I went to Solaris in Atlanta, they actually fixed it and they made it white for me. So I thought that that was really cool. And then also I have an Ellen Blair case on the back. This is our hot pink and black one from the leather and lace line. And I think lace and leather, leather and lace. Yeah, one of those. And um, I just, I really love this one. A lot of people actually ask me about this. So I want to tell you really fast. It's actually the pink fabric is laid down first and then it's a lace overlay. So this isn't... Um, like printed onto it. A lot of people are wondering if it's actual lace on it or if it's like a printed like image of lace. It's actual lace on this. So yeah, I think that's really cute and I love that one. All right, next thing I have is a bottle of water because I feel like I'm constantly drinking water and I don't know, I just, I really like water and I feel like it's good to carry around with you. Next, I have my glasses. So this is just an Avera Bradley case that I've had since I think ninth or 10th grade. And then I have my glasses. So they look like this, whoa. I cannot see a thing because I have my contacts in. So when I put my glasses on, it's like just all a big old blurry mess. So I have that. And then I also have sunglasses. These are in an Armani Exchange sunglass case, but they aren't Armani Exchange. I got these at Polka Dots and Moonbeams. It's this little vintage um, like boutique on third, yeah. So um, they look like this, they're really cute. They told me that they were from the 50s, but I mean, I'm not sure. They could be from like 2009 and I still would have bought them. They were like $7, but I really, really like them. So they look like that and I just keep those. It didn't come with a case because they were $7. So um, I just keep it in one of my other cases. By the way, I probably should have said at the beginning of the video, this is all coming out of this big pocket here, and then I'll get into what I keep in the smaller pockets. So next, I have my makeup case, and this is actually from shopglossyglam.com. I think it's cute. It has a B on it for Blair, and I have an entire video on what I keep in my on-the-go slash travel slash in my purse beauty bag. I will link it in the bottom bar below. The reason I'm not going to go through this entire case is because it was like its own 10-minute video on all the beauty products that I carry around, but I do want to show you guys the three Mark hookups that I keep with me. So Mark has these awesome little things. They're these hookups. So here, let me show you from one side to the other. So this and this comes off. 
All right, so these are hookups. They're just this little thing, and then there are lots of different attachments you can attach to it. You can make your own, you can customize it. So I really like the ones that I have, and it's something that you can just throw in your bag. So the first one I have is the tweezers called Just Tweezin, and these are actually really nice tweezers. I was worried at first. I'm kind of a little bit of a um, picky person when it comes to my tweezers. I have tried really nice tweezers, so ever since that I was always um, kind of just a little bit more cautious because I know the difference between a nice tweezer and a bad tweezer, and ever since I used the nice ones, I've always kind of watched out for it, and these are actually really great tweezers. And then the other side of this, I have the Get Bright. Um, highlighter and this is a natural I feel like when you're running around throughout the day and stuff one thing that you can always do is you can add just a little bit more highlighter on your cheekbones it really freshens up your face and it makes your face pop the other one I have is the get in line eyeliner and then I have the glow baby glow, glow lip gloss and sweet talk how cute is that it's just a really pretty shimmery pink that I feel like no matter what I was wearing if I just need to slap on some lip gloss that'd be a great color to have so love that and then the last one is I think my favorite because I have acne I definitely suffer from acne and I have since um you know high school and stuff I've been clearing it up and I have gotten my skin pretty clear but I still get those pesky little acne that um, kind of pops up every once in a while so I have the get clearance anti-acne gel on this side and then I have the good riddance highlighter on this side so I like this because throughout the day if um, I feel a pimple coming up or something I go ahead and put a little bit of the acne cream on it and that go um, I think it has 2% salicylic 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 Ellen, I can never say this word. I think it's salicylic acid. Salicylic? Salicylic? I don't know. It's some sort of acid and it's 2% so it kind of dries out the pimple really quickly but it doesn't make your skin dry or anything. At least it doesn't make mine because I've used it quite a few times. And then I put a little bit of concealer on it. So those are the three hookups that I have. That's the only thing I've changed in um, the little beauty bag since I did that video. So I'll link that in the bottom bar below if you want to know what else I have in this um, little yeah bag. Next I have my iPad. So this is something that back when I was in high school I would always have books in my bag and stuff like that but since I got my iPad I keep all of my books on here. I have my shows, I have my email, I have my notes, I have all that type of stuff. So I find myself using my iPad all the time. If you guys are kind of on the fence about them um, I definitely definitely recommend them. A lot of people are like they're just giant iPhones but they're not. They're really cool. Okay next I have my wallet and in my wallet I just have some cash not a lot of cash just like ooh, I only have like two dollars and then I have my ID I have my credit card my debit card and then I have some gift cards that I got for my birthday that I still haven't spent because I'm like a hoarder like I get presents like gift cards and stuff and I always think there's gonna be one day that I'm really gonna need this so I'll go to the store and even if what I'm buying I could cover on the gift card for some reason I don't let myself I'm like no you can't use that yet and sometimes I don't know it's crazy I was reading this article and well actually I wasn't reading it it was like on the front page of Yahoo or something so I clicked on it I wasn't like I guess I was reading it that's the definition of reading when you click on something and read anyway so I was reading this article and um, it was talking about how over a billion dollars of unused gift cards are purchased every year or maybe every 10 years I don't know but there are gift cards that are purchased and then the people never use them and I think I am um, um, what's it called not benefiting I am I'm contributing I am contributing to that statistic because I don't use all of my gift cards which is horrible so I'm gonna start using them now next I have my monkey eye mask I cannot sleep with any sort of light whatsoever I cover up my laptop charger at night just because I can have like zero 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 light so I always sleep with an eye mask um, but this is just a fun one that I carry around with me because I am the number one person that can fall asleep anywhere anytime it takes me one second to fall asleep like if I tell myself okay you can go to sleep for four minutes and 30 seconds I will set my timer on my phone for four minutes and 30 seconds put my monkey eye covers on and I will be asleep within the first probably 30 seconds to a minute and I will sleep and then when I wake up I feel refreshed and um, yeah so that's why I keep that with me next I have my Rubik's Cube and yes I did solve this I just it's not like I haven't um, like ever jumbled it up before I love Rubik's Cubes I always use them to pass the time and I actually have a video up where I did it I think in like a minute and 34 seconds or something so yeah my fastest time is 42 seconds but I only did that once and it was in gym class and I wish I could do it again but I can't 
All right, next I have a Luna Bar. I have extremely low blood sugar, but not just that. These things taste really good. These are like my number one favorite, favorite, favorite kind of bars. I know I used to like the Power Crunch bars, but now I like Luna Bars. And this is in the flavor S'mores. I eat one of these every single day. And I find that this is really good if in between lunch and dinner, if you're starting to get hungry, but it's not quite dinner time yet, but it's too long away to just wait for dinner time, I always eat a Luna Bar. And I think they're so, 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 so good. I kind of want to eat this right now. Like, I'm not lying. Like, I'm contemplating pausing the video so I can eat a Luna Bar really fast. So that's all I have in the big pocket. And then in this first little pocket right here, I keep my keys so that I don't have to kind of go digging around in my purse. They're always in the same pocket. So my keys. And then I keep a Lily Pulitzer. This is actually from Shop Glitzy Glen as well. This is a pocket Lily pad. Look how cute it is. Okay, so first it looks like that. And then you flip it open and I just jot down a lot of notes all the time. I'm always writing myself notes and stuff. So I like to have that on hand. And then I have a pen and a Sharpie because you never know what you're going to have to write on. Because sometimes I find that I'm writing on surfaces that pins just don't really work that well. So I have to use a sharpie and I like sharpies so that's why I keep them both there and I don't know why I'm restuffing this pocket when I didn't do that with my other ones okay next one of the two little pockets at the bottom the first one I don't know how it fits all of this stuff but I have all of this gum in this one pocket I have five gum I have extra gum I have bubby yum gum I have up to you gum and I have Bubby Yum gum. So, um, Bubby Yum, I thought it was Bubblicious. No, it's called Bubby Yum. That's so weird. Um, anyways, my Bubby Yum fell. Hmm, poor Bubby Yum. Okay, and then in the other small little pocket, it's actually like my nail kit. That's really weird, but I always keep these things with me. Okay, so first off, I have a nail file. Second off, I have a nail clipper, which doesn't only clip your nails. This also clips like things like sometimes when I'm having to like clip a tag off or something if I can't get it with my fingers or something I'll just take my nail clippers so it's kind of like a double pair of scissors and then the third thing is clear nail polish now this has many 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 uses obviously if a nail starts to chip I like to go over it with a coat of clear polish and let that dry that way it won't chip any further but there are also other things this can be used for um, it can seal things in I know sometimes if you write on something with a sharpie and then you rub it it kind of rubs off after a while but if you put a little bit of clear nail polish on it, it kind of seals it on for a while. So that's why I like that. So that is what was completely in my bag. I don't know why, but this bag reminds me of a Balenciaga so much just because it's like so slouchy and the hardware. I just, I think it is like perfect. I also think it looks like it cost at least a couple hundred dollars, but it wasn't. It was only like, I think $60. So yeah, definitely love it. Now I am ready to announce the Mark Week 5 video contest. So just a quick little recap. Basically what you have to do is you have to enter one of the week's contests. Weeks, you know, one through four have already gone by. This is week five. So for week five, I want you guys to create your own what's in my bag slash what's in my purse video. You need to title it Mark Misclambitious Week 5 and also don't forget to submit it to the video gallery on the Meet Mark page for video five or for um, week five. I'm going to list detailed instructions in the bottom bar below. If you do want to enter this contest, make sure you go through all of those instructions and make sure you hit every bullet point because um, we have been loving all of the submissions we have had so far, but there have been a couple people that are getting confused about it. Um, so I will have all of that in the bottom bar below so you guys can go see that. Week four's video winner is actually going to be announced tomorrow on the Meet Mark tab on ellenblair.com. And I also want to remind you guys that on the Meet Mark tab, anytime you retweet a link, anytime you like a video, anytime you comment, anytime you post a link to Facebook, you are automatically entered in a $500 drawing. So I thought that that was really cool and a lot of people um, are doing this. And I love how everyone is being so interactive with it. So that is my Mark Miskel Ambitious Week 5 slash what's in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to know what's in your bag. Don't forget to enter the contest and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.